Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 4. Well, last time we uh, continued to make our way through the Padra region after the Tidal Flats went out there. And now we're here in the Shan River, so let's go head across and see what awaits us in this part of the world. Alright, so if we go down here... Whoa, wait a minute! That's Fulu's battle music! Wow! Holy cow, we're up in the game here! But anyways, we got some new enemies here. Lizard Mans and Sporons there. So, okay. Now there's a skill that we can actually learn from the Lizard Man, so I want to, uh... Make sure we have somebody... Well, he can't quite learn that. Dang it. Um... Okay, I may have to do some, uh... Switching around here with some enemy skills. But that's fine. Okay, so let's get, uh... Like I said, I want to learn this skill first, so... Let's just have everybody that can learn skills. Stand guard there. Hopefully we'll learn the skill that we want. Uh-oh, spores. Man, I gotta tell you, I just finished playing through The Last of Us. Uh, for PS3. Whoa, that game is freaking intense. And when whenever the spores happened, I was like, uh-oh. I have to deal with infected there. And I'm not really looking forward to that. Ah, there's the skill I want to learn. Wind Strike. Basically, what Wind Strike is, is... Uh, it's the next level of physical attack uh, that has an elemental tie into it. Ooh, good shot, Urshan. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Let's use our, uh... My favorite attack right now, which is my Siphoon combo. And Ryu, go ahead and attack. Yeah, I like this combination here. works. There you go. Oh, wait, I got it backwards, didn't I? Oh, oh well. What am I doing? Fire Blast and Summon. Wow. Okay, sorry, BCS Universe. I'm losing my mind. But I learned Wind Strike nonetheless. So, okay, let's finish this. Woo, good job. Man, that new armor we've got has worked out pretty well. Dude, she's like she used a shotgun there. But yeah, okay, sorry about that. I'm, I'm clearly losing my mind. Uh, okay, well anyways, first thing we do is throw the switch. All right. Now let's head aboard here. The gondola moves while the button is pressed and stops when it released. Oh. Uh, nope. Okay. So we hold the X button down, and we basically move across, and there you are. Very good. Okay, let's jump across here. And now, uh, let's see. Now we want to get this lift on here. Yep. And on here. Yep. Basically, we have to move across the area here. Using these little contraptions here. All right, and I believe this way. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right. Let's go this way. Go. And now go here, and we get some Titan boots. Very nice. Let's see what those do. There. Ooh, plus 10 to our attack. Ooh, that could be pretty useful, actually. Uh, and increasing my defense. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. I'm going to give that to Crane. Now we'll be using him. I'm going to give those to Sias there. Yeah, he can definitely use the increased attack power. All right, very good. Because I'd much rather have you have the speed up. Okay. This way, and we get ooh a thousand zinni, very nice. All right, now we're gonna go up this way, and back here, and back through here. All right, now I want to head up this way. Okay, and we'll just go across, very nice. Okay. Okay, and I actually screwed up. I actually need to go back to the other side because I forgot to get 
I forgot to get one other chest. My bad. Alright, so let's jump over here. Let's head back to where we were, where we, where we were earlier. Now we want to go up this way, here, and around, and we can actually go down this way. Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay, very good. Now, immediately you want to jump on this lift right here, and what we actually want to do is move forward, and we want to run into this log here. Oh, yeah. Now we can ride the log. What does riding the log do? Yeah, it takes us over here so we can get this chest, and we get an earth ward. Very nice. Okay. But first we're going to face off against a new enemy here, the Generator. And it can absorb, ooh, wind and water magic attacks. No, I don't quite, quite like that too much. So, uh, well, let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Ryu attack it first. And then hopefully it will not absorb the Samoon attack. I don't, oops, I don't think it will, but I'm not 100% certain. But we'll try it. Hopefully Ryu can take it down just first. That'll work. <laughs> that'll work. It's weak to fire. So that'll work quite nicely. Alright. Oh, it didn't get a combo. Dang it. Oh well. Yeah, sometimes the combo doesn't quite work. Okay, so I'll have to finish these guys off the old-fashioned way. That's fine. Alright. Now let's just use regular physical attacks to finish these guys off. Oh, nice shot. I swear she's using a shotgun. Oh, well. Hey, we got level ups for both Cray and Urshan. Very nice. Excellent. Okay, so now let's jump, jump back up here. And if you do that, you'll notice. That we are, and jump down. Hey, we're back at the beginning. Very nice. So what I'm going to do since I can is I'm going to jump out, heal up, and then I will meet you back at the uh, back at the lift or the gondola rather, where uh, where you came out on the other side of the screen right before we hit the log. So I'll meet you there, and then uh, we'll continue on with this area. Okay, so I made it back there. I managed to get another level for Ryu along the way, so that's pretty good. Okay. Now, what we want to do is wait for that log to pass, and keep going, and I believe there should be a... Uh-oh. Yeah, we want to run into this second log right here, because what that does is takes us right over here, and... Uh, wait. Yeah, and it allows us to go over and get two more orums. Speaking of orums, by the way, I uh, made some changes to my abilities, and... I gave Wind Strike to Ryu, and I took off the Concentrate, because he doesn't really need that. And I gave that to Nina to boost her magic. I also gave her the Icicle from Ryu, because, you know what, he doesn't really need that either. So, anyways, I just made those changes. Alright, now, unfortunately, we have to do this one more time. And get all the way around. So what I'll do now is I'll go all the way around, loop around one more time. Meet you right over there, and we'll continue on. Okay, and one more trip across it. Now, this time we're going to avoid both of the logs because we don't want to. We don't want to stop. We actually want to make it all the way across this time. There are no more chests we can get, so just keep on going there. Yeah. Now, if you get bumped on the gondola, I guess I should show you that. If you get bumped, uh, you immediately go back to where you started earlier. So you want to be very. You want to be kind of careful. Cross. Just be careful. You want to wait for the second log to pass. Give it just a minute here. Maybe. Yep. There it goes. And you get kind of close, and then it will pass. And now we can continue on. You can see the log gets stuck there. So you can kind of see how things are going to work out, where you're going to end up. Once, you know, if you decide to bump into the log. So, anyways. All right. And now that we go out here. We get to move on, very nice, to the village of Chiqua, looks like. Ooh, that looks nice. I'm gonna move off it so that I can, oops, 
so that I can get to it on the uh, on my uh, shift screen. Okay, let's check it out. Zynga Mountains. Well, that sounds familiar. Okay, well, let's take a look around and see what we got here in Chiqua. It's not big or anything, but it's home. Oh, very good. Looks like there's a lot of Manila type guys here. Fu Chuman. Ooh, he looks important. Yar, me business be rare and collectible items. Uh huh. Oh, I see. Uh, are you wishing to go to capital? Okay, that that could be a little racist. I don't mean to do that, but I don't know. Uh, okay, he needs more items. Uh, all right. What items should we bring him? I, ugh. All right. Okay, sure. Uh, let's see. What we're probably going to want to do is, well, let's take, a, let's take a look at some of the different items. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Yeah, let's take a look at those other ones. So, Kashka Pottery. Oh, unique jars. Oh, I see. Sure. What other fish? Ah, Shisu. Notice how that's a, a uh, anagram of sushi there. So they like fish. Need three of any of these fish. Martin squid, salmon, or sea bream. Well, funny story. Nope, I know. Okay, very nice. Well, it turns out, let me just my items there, that I happen to have some sea breams. Let me show you. Now, the easiest, I would say the easiest way to do this is to go fishing and to get some sea breams. Yeah, they're actually pretty easy to get at the, at the saldine fishing spot. So if you just, even if you do a moderate amount of fishing, you can find it that way. So I would, I would probably say uh, that's the easiest way to do it. So let's talk to him. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, sure. And we give him the fish. Very nice. And he'll tell me I get to the capital. I'm not, I'm not sure uh, which fish we give him, but it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I see. All right, very good. And that was easy. But before moving on, let's talk to him one more time. We have a silver ball. Yes. Yeah, we can upgrade the treasure. Now we get an Electrum Ball, which means we can get another skill from uh, Marlock. Very, 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 very nice. Awesome. Woo! Well, that was pretty easy. Okay. Now, before moving on, there's a couple other things that we can do. Let's see if we can do those. Let's go around this way. And we have, I believe we have a shop here. Is that right? Yeah, and, we can, uh, and you can upgrade your weapons uh, if you want here. Ooh. Now, this is, if you want to use a w upgrade for Ursula, I would recommend not doing that because the other one has double attack power. So, And there's some magma armor, which you might remember from the first game. Now, so what we've got here is, so you have the blizzard mail from before and the magma armor here. So, you know, it's six in one hand, half a dozen in the other, I think. So if you want to get those, you can. Um, I can actually probably get another silver mail. Yeah, why not? That's a good upgrade there. Actually, what is... Hold on. What does a... Uh... Well, anyways. Uh, what did he have for armor? Let me check. Did he have something better than the... Oh, he had the armored vest. That's right. So we don't need to upgrade his. But, uh, yeah, we can upgrade the silver mail. That would be fine. Oops, no. I don't want to... I don't want to buy... Oh, trade. Yeah, let's upgrade that silver metal... Uh, size there. there we go. Very good. And don't really care. I already got that. Don't really care about the feather sword because again, I've got double attacks on both of them. Um, you know, I can equip, I can upgrade the crusher. Sure. Why not? There we go. I got nothing better to do with my money. Very good. Okay. If you want to know about the ruins? You should ask the folks in Kashka. Oh, I see. I remember that because we'll be doing that here in just a little bit. Okay, now before going on, if we've talked to this guy, I am a fisherman. All right, and by talking to that guy, we get a new fishing spot. Very nice. 
Okay, and we talk to this guy. Yeah. So basically all we need to do, basically what we've done here is uh, just opened up a couple new spots on the world map and advance the plot. So let's go check it out. Yeah, so we got a couple other things. We've opened up a fishing spot, and we've opened up a spot to the river. Um, okay, so now, we'll, but, but before going on, there's a couple more things that I want to do. Um, I actually want to go to this fishing spot, because I think I could finish off some fishing today. So let me, uh, let me investigate this. All right, and this is lake spot number three. Now, we're getting really close to the, to the, uh, to the number of points that I need here. So, we can go through. Yeah, so I gave him a couple sea breams, and that's fine. So, and if you want to go get some new, some new, more sea breams, you can. They're pretty easy to get, actually. So, okay. So let's do some fishing here and see what we can find. Actually, let's see what fish we can get. Okay, so we've got some already. And we've got a couple that we can't get, so let's see what we can find here. And we all equip. Yep. All right. Let's take, let's go for it. Hey, and there we got a new fish there, an angel fish. Very nice. Cool. Getting closer. Hey, hey, all right, and I've got my new fish there, the bluegill, and that puts me over the top with 3,000 points. Very nice. All right, what I did was I returned to Lip because I wasn't having a whole lot of luck uh, at my other place there. But that doesn't matter because I got my 3,000 points. So, actually, this works out quite nicely because Lip is where I need to go to... No! To get uh, my next master. So let's go do that. And all we need to do is... Uh, let me just the camera there. I guess we just need to go over to find Gaia Sill. Now let's just head right over there and talk to him now that we have 3,000 points. I do. Oh, that's great. Sure. Yes. All right, and now that we have 3,000 points, he is now our master. Yes. Yes, that's fine. I know that already. Oh, really? Oh, very nice. Yeah, so basically if someone learns ward, that's pretty cool. Uh, if someone learns ward, that means that they, uh, sometimes an item, if they use an item in battle, it doesn't get used, which can be pretty nice. All right, now I'm only going to temporarily put somebody on, on, uh, Gaia Cell. I'm going to change it out a little bit later, but I want to have this person on for sure. Okay. Very good. Uh-huh. Very nice. Cool. Now, I'm not actually going to use Gaia Sil as a master. The reason that I wanted to do, there's a very specific reason that I wanted to do that. And the reason is because I wanted to get another master on my team. And the only way you can do that is if you have, if you have, uh, if you have Gaia Sil. So what I want to do now is I want to head back to Sinesta. And now that we have Gaia Sil as a master, you know, I also need to talk to Marlock while I'm here. I'll do that here in a minute. But first, what I want to do... Actually, I, could have, I think I had the camera right the first time. Dang it. Okay, what I want to do is go here and head to the orphanage. And now that somebody knows Ward, if you talk to the sister, you might remember this from earlier. No, not yet. We're still working on it. But yeah, you can share with us some of the things that I've learned over the years. That'd be great. Sure. Yes, because now that you have Ward, uh, we can get her as a master. She just had a guard. Very nice. Oh, very good. And you two will be saved. Well, there's definitely some potential connotations there. But anyways, um, so now that Lita will potentially be our master. Oh, that's true. Okay, very good. Very nice. Oh, that sounds very nice. She has a she has a lot to offer there. Now, the way that you get skills from Lita, and I'm going to say Lita, is dependent upon reuse level. Yes. Uh, well, I haven't said hi to the kids, but I'd much rather see you. Yes, it sure is. All right, very nice. 
And now we get to skill supplication. I believe Ryu needs to be on level 25 in order to learn that. And basically it can increase your healing magic, which, which can be pretty nice. Um, I don't really care about that, so I'm just going to copy that to the skill scroll for now. Uh, nope, we're good. Nope, not yet. Yes, absolutely. Uh-huh. Oh, I understand that. Yeah, so she doesn't tell you exactly how to get skills, but it is based upon reuse level. Alright, very good. And now Holy Strike, yeah. Now this one's actually useful, because what this does is it's a physical holy attack. So yeah, let's give that to Ryu there. Very nice. Nope, we're good. Uh-huh. I understand that. Well, okay, let's see if we can get any more skills from her. I can't quite remember. Nope, okay. So I need to be, I think Ryu needs to be on level 30 in order to get his next skill. That's true. Okay, very good. All right. So that's I, so that's what the whole reason for getting Gaia still. Now I am most likely never gonna fish again because I don't really need to. Uh, I've not I've I've got Gaia still as a master, and I really don't care about fishing at all. So yeah, I have no reason at all to fish. I do, however, want to go talk to Marlock because now that I've gotten my next treasure, I believe I can talk to him and get another skill. Let's go do that. I'm wanting, to, I'm wanting some more of your uh, skills. Yep, sure have. Uh-huh. Uh, something that can... It's an electric ball, so I'm assuming I can... I'm assuming I can shock you or whatever. And now we get a new skill, Monopolize. And what that does is all experience from the combat goes to the user. Basically, if you want a character, if you want to get one character leveled up, you definitely want to use this skill. Now, this can be useful if one of your characters is behind in leveling up, so that can be useful. I'm not going to use it right now, so let's send it to the skill scroll, but could be good. Uh, I don't really want to learn anything from you. You got it. The Platinum Bell. All right, very nice. So that's going to be our next goal. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is head back to the world map and check my time, and we'll see if there's anything else that I can do today. I think there is, but we'll, uh, let me just check my time real quick. Okay, it turns out that I am out of time, unfortunately, but there's a slight bit of level grinding that I want, I'm gonna, want to do, and I'm actually going to go ahead and do it before the next episode, because I want to get Nina and Ursula up to their next level of skill. So I'll definitely take care of that before the next episode. But are we going to go to the river? Or are we going to go to the ruins? You all have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP. Check out my blog. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.